Hey everybody, welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. For this video, we will see if we can actually use vinyl on our Cricut devices, the big ones, such as the Maker or the Air, without using any mat. Um, they do have a device called the Cricut Joy, which you can use um, smart vinyl without a mat. I do have one and I have posted a couple tutorials on the Cricut um, Joy and I will be posting more coming soon um so stand by for those um but you can use that device without a mat but it is um some people say you can use vinyl on a Cricut device like a maker or air without a mat however I have not seen it done so I want to try it out to see if it can actually be done all right so I already have a small image on my computer um it's just the word good because i didn't want to do anything too big because i didn't want to um you know just in case the vinyl gets jammed in there i don't you know i don't want to risk it so i'm just going to do one small word and we're going to be using some cricket removable vinyl see it says cricket removable vinyl on there i think something that i already cut was on there too but at any rate so um let me turn my camera that way so you can see so as you can see the vinyl is too short it does not get under it goes underneath of the spools so it the rub, rubber thing does not grip the vinyl without a mat however if you cut the vinyl this way so it can go underneath the hooks here i know they're called something else but it is not coming to my mind so i'm just going to cut it here and i'm already well not already but i'm measuring it now to see we'll cut it where i'm leaving like a little mark so I know what to cut. So I'm going to cut from here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. From here to here. So it can fit underneath. So it can be pulled or loaded into the machine. Alright, so I'll be back after I cut that. Alright, so I'll cut it to the length where it will hopefully grab, get sucked under. I might have cut it a little too short, but um, it is underneath of the stopper. So I'm going to hit load. Let me just adjust this camera so you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. So I'm going to hit load and we're going to see how that, what that does. Okay. So it did grip it which is good. We're going to hit C. Okay, it's balling it up, but it's spitting it back out. So it may have been longer down here. So we're going to see what it does. All right, it's cutting and it's moving the vinyl back and forth, which is a good sign. And then it's telling us to unload it. So let's see what it did. Oh, look, yo. Okay, so it did it. All right. And it didn't go to the top of the vinyl, as you see here. So right here is empty space so it kind of brought it down here if it was if it was on a mat you probably could have got it up a little bit closer um but it did cut it didn't get stuck it did ball it up a little bit let's just go ahead and cut this out and i picked this vinyl because i'm probably never going to use it on anything 
other than a tumbler when I'm trying to remove it for peekaboo. But at any rate, you can see where it says good. Let's see. There we go. You can see it says good. So it did cut out. Now that was removable vinyl. I'm sure if you do the same thing with um um not removable permanent vinyl, it will do the same thing. This right here is heat transfer so this is just like a little scrap i have so i'm going to try it on here to see if it will work so already i see a problem that is too short so it won't get pulled in to the machine so let's try it like such and see what happens Okay, so it didn't have anything to, it didn't grip it because it was too short. So you have to cut it where it will be enough to be pulled underneath the stoppers here. So I'm going to slide it in and see if it does anything. And it's not pulling it back in and out because it didn't, it never gripped it. All right, so it's moving it around because the blade is moving. So we're going to see if it actually is, I mean, the blade is moving. So we're going to see if it actually cut anything. So, okay. So this is what happened. It didn't cut anything. It just made like squiggly lines where it was trying to cut, but it never gripped the heat transfer vinyl. So it wasn't able to um, cut it correctly. If it if this was long enough to get pulled under the stopper, I'm sure it probably would have cut. Um, let's try something else really quick let's see so if all right so let's try this so I want to pull it underneath this stopper here because this is a stopper here so we're going to see if this will if it will work with one stopper so I'm just going to hit load uh oh okay let's try that again we're going to hit load okay so it loaded it Okay, so it pulled it in on its own. We're going to hit the C. Okay, so it's pulling it in. It's pushing it back out. Oh, it is getting balled up. <laughs> Can you see that in the machine? If it's gonna print out anything because or if it's actually cutting because it was balled up so we're just gonna unload it and see not well wait a minute um it kind of did you can see a d but it didn't come through the other side um Let's see. I don't know if it was if I pushed it in too far because it looked like it was trying to do it. Let's see. Let's do it one more time. One more time, y'all. Because I think it may have been pushed over too far. Because if it could print out one letter, see when it came. Yeah, when it is when it's coming back, it's like too far over uh, for some reason when it comes back in it's pushing it over let's see let's see what the results are this time okay see it you can see an O now and a D and it kind of came out on the other side so I'm thinking you can do it you know I have to keep trying to <laughs> it's 
tell. Let's see. All right, so this time I moved it a little bit further out so it won't get jammed in those when it comes back. Let's see if that works. No, I think the bottom, okay. Now it's not even in the thing. Let's see if I can put it in there. <laughs> I had to help it out a little bit. Okay, so this time it didn't ball up. Okay, so, all right, so this time you can see the good. So it's there. And it looks like it came on the side. We'll see. But again, it's a lot of wasted space from here to here. A lot of wasted space. So we are going to see. Now, this is flimsy, as you can tell versus this where it has like a harder backing to it the um regular vinyl pre um has like a paper oh, has a paper vinyl to it so i'm sure that um this will come out the same well, I'm not 100% sure, but you know what? Matter of fact, let's just do it. Let's do this red. I think this was a Cricut sampler that I found when I was cleaning up. <laughs> cleaning up. <laughs> so let's try this. This is just regular um, vinyl. Yeah, this is Cricut vinyl. Um, ooh, it's kind of balled up or folded up. So we'll see if it even... So it's too short to go this way. So we're gonna try it this way and see. And gonna, this is a sampler thing I've got. So this is kind of balled up a little bit because it was folded. Like I said, I found it when I was cleaning up. So, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so that did not fare very well. And I am not going to try that again because I am afraid that it will... Hey, 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 stop it. I'm afraid it will get jammed. So we will not be using this piece. Let's try a better piece. We are not using that one. Uh, no, this is removable vinyl again. Okay, let's try a little piece of this white vinyl here. And for the white vinyl, I'm just going to cut a small piece and um, put it on the one stopper. I'm not going to do a, a large piece to see if it will, because I'm pretty sure that it will do the same thing that the removable vinyl did. But we're just going to make sure that it will take um, the backing. Oh, I lost my rubber band. All right. Okay, so this is regular white 651 or cow. So we're going to slide it in here. Uh oh, let's see. Didn't load. Let's try it again. All right. My decal is coming up on my machine. All right. Let me just hit the C. Put it back out. It still is in good place. Uh, I may not get the whole good on there. This is a little shorter. Maybe. Let's see. Is 
Mm. Okay, woohoo. Yes, look, we just made it with the D. Look at that. So it did the same thing. Again, it has all this empty space right here. So just cut that there. And then I'm going to push my machine back over. I have my machine on like a tilt because um, I have uh, bins behind it and it keeps hitting the bins. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to throw this little sampler. Well, no, I'm going to keep it. I might can use it to do like a peekaboo or something. I'll put it on a mat. That way it won't <laughs> get jammed all in my um machine. That would be a mess. Okay, so I'm just trying to clean up behind myself because I just clean up my area and I'm trying not to have a big old mess um, as us crafters tend to do. But anyway, so we'll weed this. Let me get my little weeding pen. So let me just adjust the camera. All right, so this is the removable vinyl. So... And this part we put in a big piece. We cut it across so it could fit. Uh-oh, I'm losing my... Oh, this is why I do not deal with vinyl a lot. Because, well, the smart vinyl, I L-O-V-E that. You can weed that thing. You don't have the letters peeling up or anything. I love that stuff. Um... And you can use that on the Cricut Joy. I believe you can use it on the Maker. You probably will have to use it the same way. I just used the other vinyl in the One Stopper. Because, um, well, that one does come in a length. Let me just grab it really quick so I can show you. So, for the Smart Vinyl. This is Smart Vinyl Glitter. So, with the Smart Vinyl, it's short this way. So to put it in your maker, you would have to make it long. And then, like we did with the green, um, you would have to cut it so it could fit like this in your machine and then cut. Because you can't obviously do it like this because it wouldn't grip. But you could use it under the one stopper if you wanted to do it like that. But if you wanted to do it like this, you could do it like that. However, it is only four feet across. So your image will have to kind of be, um, so you can cut it longer, of course. Or you can just do it like this. And then it will go down this way. Um, it's only four feet. So your image would, of course, have to fit in that um, space. So you can use the Smart Vinyl with a Cricut machine. It will work the same exact way as the um, removable vinyl and the um, sorry, I can't get my words together. It will work the same way as the removable vinyl, the permanent vinyl, and the HTV. Um, but you would have to either do it this way or do it this way underneath one stopper. But back to this. This is the removable vinyl. So it did cut out very well. But of course you see all this empty space right here. So um, you do have to be aware of that. You have a lot of empty space up here. But it did cut and we did it long ways. So it could fit and gr get grabbed under... Um, the stopper so then this is the permanent vinyl and of course you can always cut oh lord i lost my d <laughs> you can always cut the um top of the vinyl so you're not wasting it you can always cut this part right here and then save that for a different project so you can always 
cut up here and save that for a different project. But for this tutorial, I wanted to just show you how much wasted space you actually have. Um, but you can use those tiny scraps. I have used them before for like dots or something that I'm using in a project or something like that. So you can always um, use the little scraps. Don't think that you can. So um, it did cut it out. And this was just used like this underneath the one stopper. And that cut out just the same as this did with both stoppers. But cutting it long ways because you, it's too short to um go in just regular 12 by 12 is too short you have to kind of go the long way like i showed you and then this one is the heat transfer vinyl we had to try several times on this one to make it actually work because it was flimsy and it kept getting um, balled up in the machine so you have to be careful if you're you know you don't have a mat or anything like that and I don't know for what reason you want to do HTV um, like that, but um, you have to be kind of careful. And unless you have like a 15 by 15 and you're able to cut it down to maybe like a, um, I want to say a 12 by 12 or the size of your mat, then you would, you probably wouldn't have as many difficulties. I was just using the one stopper. But you see it cut over it several times. So I'm trying to pull, but it has several cuts. <laughs> so there we go. We'll just cut that one out. Oh, I don't know why I'm trying to stick it to me. I'm thinking it's vinyl. But this, there we go. All right. So this one didn't cut out very well on the one stopper. Um, of course, I didn't mirror it, so... It's backwards but at any rate you see it has different cut lines in it because we had to keep going back in and doing it over and over again to try to get it to where you can actually see the word good um, so I would not suggest using heat transfer vinyl because it's flimsy and you don't want to waste your heat transfer vinyl because it is very expensive vinyl is expensive as well however you did see we didn't really have much difficulty with the vinyl without a mat um, if for any reason you don't have a mat or it's not in your budget to purchase a mat with your Cricut machine, some of them, I believe my machine came with, I don't remember. I think I brought a bundle. It, I brought it last year. So I'm, it, I brought it in a bundle. So it came with the mat. Um, but if you aren't able to afford a mat, um, you can always buy like a generic mat from off of Amazon and they come three in a pack for under ten dollars i think um and if you have a mat and yours is dirty and it doesn't stick anymore you can always use awesome and clean it up with like a scrub brush let it dry and i'm telling you it is sticky again so but for whatever reason if you don't have a mat you lost your mat your mat is beat up it's broke it's whatever you can use heat um regular vinyl permanent no this is removable removable vinyl and permanent vinyl in the Cricut Maker or Air now I don't have an Air so I can't really speak on an Air I have a Maker so you did see that it did go in there in the Maker very well so you are able to use your machine without a mat and then if you want to you can also do HTV without a mat as well Alrighty, everyone, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the contents of this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, then um, I don't know what to tell you, but don't hit the dislike button. <laughs> um, if you like the content of this um, video and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified for when I drop new videos. Okay, everyone, until next time, peace.